Have you ever failed at something? Typically speaking, when you fail at something, it's because of a couple of reasons. It's because of circumstances, but it's also because of lack of focus. You see, focus is one of those things that can keep us from growing. It can keep us from going. It can keep us from doing a lot of things that it is we need to do. Now, focus to work, it requires three things. It requires simplifying life. It requires timing. And it requires passion. Matthew 7, 13 and 14 says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but the small gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. You see, in order to have focus, the first thing we have to do in our life is we have to simplify. Simplify meaning that instead of focusing on a to-do list, what we really need to be focused on is the don't do list. A lot of us do things in our lives that we shouldn't be doing. We do things that aren't as important as what we need to be doing. Think about it like this. If you stopped doing everything that you shouldn't be doing and bundled all that spare time into your day into one of the few things that give you the best result, if you only did those few things and, and did them really well, then all of your resources would tend to grow and your focus would also tend to multiply. So the yes is not as good an answer as no, meaning the things that I have to do is much better when I say no and look at the things that I don't want to do. So it's all about simplification. The second thing we have to look at is when. You know, I love Ecclesiastes 3 because Ecclesiastes 3 talks about for everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up and that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down. Beatles song, right? So there's a time for everything and for everything there is a season. And focus requires that time. And if we don't put the proper time in when we're focusing and we don't focus during the proper time, then what happens is our results can decrease significantly. So there is a right and wrong time for everything. And there's a time to do things like finishing school and going to college and getting married and having children. There's, there's a, a right time for everything and for every decision that it is that we make. And if you've ever done the right thing, at the wrong time, then what you've seen is you've seen what can happen from the challenges that go along with that. The third thing that's required for focus is passion. And passion simply means in order for it to work, there has to be some sort of fire in your belly. You got to be passionate about what you're focused on. If you aren't really passionate about what you're focused on, then it's easy to lose focus. You get like a small child whose attention span is really, really short. And so the focus to work, we want to do what we love or do it how we love doing it. And passion is one of those things that's intrinsic to you, meaning it's it's yours and yours alone. You can determine what you're passionate about you can figure out what it is that your needs are, and it's different for every person at every time in our life. So for focus to work, the formula I have to follow is simplify, make your don't do list instead of your to do list. Saying no is super important. When in timing is as important as what and passion simply says, are you pouring your energy into the important things or are you pouring your energy into the unimportant things? Are you being reactive or are you being proactive? And that's the power of focus.